Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it is finally here. Premier League Team of the Season drops inside of FIFA 22. It's the team of the season that we've all been waiting for. We had community last week, but really, this is the real start of team of the season with a lot of really high-rated cards coming out today and hopefully some insane content. Now, we have some more leaks to talk about, including a TOTS swaps program. Yes, the return of the swaps with the objectives and SBCs to get the tokens to then turn in for a swaps program to get some really, really cool packs. So I want to talk about those leagues. We know the entire team that is coming out today for Premier League team of the season. And of course, we want to take a look at the content for today and the market because it's going to be an absolutely mad day on this game in terms of everything going on and all the hype that surrounds team of the season Fridays, especially this big Premier League team of the season Friday. So if you're excited for today, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. We're going to dive right into it and look at the team that is coming today because these these cards, they look pretty good. EA is doing the juice with some of these cards. Now it's all going to come down to a couple things in terms of some weak foot and skill move upgrades that would take this team from great to incredible in my opinion. So these are the cards that we're going to see today. Of course, Salah, Ronaldo, De Bruyne, Yunmin Son, Bruno Fernandes, Allison, Ruben Diaz, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Joao Cancelo with better stats than his team of the year card, Van Dyke, Jota, Rice, Sadio Mane, Rodri. This is the starting 11 plus bench. Now there's one more player that was not included in this graphic. Uh, Bernardo Silva is also going to be in today. Now again, like I mentioned, these cards, we've seen some of them already. It really just comes down to the weak foot and the skill move boost for some of these cards, right? Are they going to give Joao Cancelo the five-star weak foot like they did in his team of the year card? Are they going to give Salah that four-star weak foot? That's one of the big things that we're going to be watching out for today. What we're also going to be watching out for, and I can show you the Bernardo Silva card here. These are the predicted stats, right? And that was the one thing, if you've been following these leaks, that's been the one thing that everybody has been saying in this past couple of days, or the leakers have been saying, is these are all predicted stats and expected stats because remember last week for community team in the season, EA, right before they put these cards out, actually juiced up the stats even more for some of these cards. So if that ends up happening today for Premier League, these the stats might even look better than what they show right here. So I think the team today looks really good. Again, there's a few surprises in here. Some of the cards don't look that insane. Like Ruben Diaz is not as good as his team of the year card. Um, Ronaldo is a little bit better than his team of the year. Jota with the 77 physical it's got to be a typo, right? You know, but I think there's really, there's really not any fodder cards. Like Rodri's the worst card in this team, and the rest of the cards in this in this squad are not bad at all. So I'm really excited today. Of course, everybody's going to be trying to pack these cards in the game today. So this is the team that's going to be in packs. Take a screenshot, pause the video, take a look at it if you want to zoom in a little bit extra. I want to talk about the objectives and SBCs that we could be seeing today as well. This was our first leaked objective earlier in the week. We do think that it's going to be coming today. Might be two objectives today. There's also a De Gea that has been leaked. So just like last week, we had two objectives. We might see two today, who knows? But this one is most likely going to be dropping a right mid soccer card. A lot of people would be very excited to get an Arsenal team this season player in their club via the objectives section. That's a really good objective card in the grand scheme of things. Now, SBC for today... We're not entirely sure, but there's a couple leaks. I'm a huge fan of this one, of course. We've already had a flashback Harry Kane this year with a massive pace boost, but it seems like Harry Kane is going to be getting another SBC. This one's going directly into my team, 100%. These are predicted stats. Don't know if he's coming today. Uh, last year on Prem Tots, you, you guys might remember, we had flashback Gareth Bale. So I don't know if we're going to get a flashback SBC today or this Harry Kane. We also have a flashback Daily Alley that is leaked. That's just another opportunity uh, for a card that might be coming today. Not sure. But I would almost guarantee that we are going to have an objective or two today and a player SBC and also the team in packs alongside with what we now know as a leaked rewards and a TOTS swaps program. This is crazy, man. EA is going all out with Premier League Tots, and I absolutely love it. Now, here's the thing. These packs, as you will see in here, these are the, the leaked rewards for this swaps program. Just like Winter Wildcards, if you guys remember back to then, 
or during future stars when we have these swaps programs, right? We're going to be attaining these tokens, which we will then turn in for these swaps rewards. And we believe that it would start today. It might not exactly start today. We don't actually have a car design yet uploaded for a TOTS swaps item, which is something like an icon swaps card that we would usually see in the game. We don't have that yet, but it seems like it would be coming to start today. There's going to be 25 tokens in total. As this leak says, 25 tokens will be available. What are you going to choose from it? There's some really insane rewards in here. A guaranteed Prem Tots pack, guaranteed Bundesliga Tots pack. There's a Prem or Bundesliga Tots player pick and a Premier League Tots player pick one of three, a couple icons that probably most people wouldn't go for, an 84 times 25 pack, and a whole host of other guaranteed Tots packs in this swaps program. Absolute freaking W from EA Sports. Again, we think this is going to start today. The rewards are not going to be available. These packs will not be able to be open for at least two weeks um, until the end of Premier League and Bundesliga Tots. I believe May 20th is that date when we might get the rewards for this. But today we should get the first tokens if this does start today via objectives. Uh, I think they said that EA is going to be giving us one token as well. It's, it's just like all the other token programs that we have had. They give us one, they put one in the store, and then the rest are from SBCs and objectives that we have to attain to collect, and then we turn those in for packs. So, you know, when the things we've known about the swap programs this year is that whenever EA runs swaps like this, and by the way, all of those rewards, when they do get released, will be under this like swaps tab. The SPCs will probably be under, if they have a team of the season tab or under the live tab, they'll be in here. But any promo that includes a swaps program is always a W. So that makes, that makes me really hype for everything else that is going to drop during team of the season Premier League later on this week. So that's all the content that we are expecting today, right? It's going to be a huge, huge Friday of content. Now let's talk about the market because that's where it's also going to go down today. A lot of you guys probably going into the store first and talking about this have packs saved up just like me, 57 packs. A lot of these are, most of them are 50 Ks and above, couple mega packs in here, but a lot of these saved up like 75 times five, 1181 Premier League packs. Today is the day where so many people are going to be ripping packs, whether it's with FIFA points, whether it's saved up packs, just like we saw last week on the community tots drop, there's going to be so much supply right away from people just going out and spamming packs. That's what today is about as well, right? Just opening all those packs that you've saved to try to pack some of these best cards that we will ever see dur during the game this year. It's going to be chaos in the first hour. The market is going to be chaos as these brand new TOTS cards come onto the game. It's very, it's going to be very interesting to see the pack weight. Of course, right now it's 15% for Air Divisi and Community TOTS. Now, here's the key. Premier League TOTS cards are not going to be as easy to pack as Community TOTS cards because the ratings are higher. And of course, EA doesn't want these cards to be as easily attainable on the market. They're going to be more expensive. But also today, we have Air Divisi cards still in packs, whether it's Anthony, Gravenberch, or um, Timber that you guys might be interested in. Be very, very careful. These cards are probably going to drop a lot more in price today just because um, they are, they're getting, they're in packs again, right? Anthony's, is he back up? He's around 190,000 coins. He was like 170 earlier today. So just watch out because these guys are still in packs. They're not going out of packs. If you want to buy any of them for your team, please wait until later on this weekend. They're going to get a lot more supply. So that's my biggest advice for anybody still looking at air to busy cards. Um, they're going to drop a lot today. Anything that is in packs today, just like we saw last week, it's going to take a hit in price. Even, even a guy like Golden Bappe, right? It's going to take a hit in price with so many packs being open. That's also going to make us think that for some of these cards, let's say like Cancelo, right? Cancelo getting the team of the season card today, if I could type in his name correctly. Uh, these cards are probably going to look pretty cheap in that first 30 to 45, maybe one hour window, just like we saw last week with Community Tots cards. Now for the more expensive cards, just like we saw last week, and I'm going to use last week's team as an example for you so that you can kind of remember what went on. 
If you guys remember, we had guys like Zaha was down to 400,000 coins last week. He shot up to 500K within an hour. Uh, Fred was down at like, I think he was like 500K. He went up to like 650. Suarez was took a while to drop as a really high rated card. So if you have a card today like probably Ronaldo, probably Salah or De Bruyne, Hyunmin Son, those cards are not going to be their cheapest right away because their price ranges might start very, very high. People are going to undercut and list and it's going to take a while for their prices to drop. But for the rest of the cards on this on this game in, in the Premier League Tots team today, there might be some cards that are very, very cheap early on, and they might rebound a little bit after that from all the pack supply and everybody opening packs today on this game. There's also going to be tons of lightning rounds in that regard, so there's going to be a lot of supply for these TOTS cards. That's the biggest word for today, right? Supply. All the packs are going to be open. It's going to be an absolute crazy madness in that first hour of the market. Now, with all those packs being opened as well, you're like, Nate, what is going to go on with SBC fodder? I think it's going to be similar to last week, but also different because last week, 84, 85 rated cards, they didn't really drop. If you guys remember, they stayed pretty high in price. Like 85s were still like nine to 10,000 coins last week. If we take a look at Cavani last weekend, he was 8K. He did go down a little bit to like 7.5. Um, but especially on Friday, these guys maintained their prices pretty well until later in the night because we had that prime icon player pick that was still available. Now this week, we only have an Icon Moments upgrade pack. It's 530,000 coins, but this look how much this um, SPC has dropped off in value. It was 590K in the middle of the week. And right now, even as you, you can see, it was 600K yesterday. Since content dropped, fodder has been going down. And into today on Friday, this SPC only costs you just over 500,000 coins. It's repeatable twice. So I think what's going to happen today is that higher tier fodder. I'm talking guys that are 87 rated and above, especially some of your 88s, 89s, 90s, maybe even guys like Lewandowski is a 92. Some of these guys have the potential to rebound after the first hour or so of all the supply coming on the market because of people getting coins, opening packs, and going out and doing that Icon Moments upgrade pack because that's what people love to do. They love to do upgrade packs like that and SBCs on this game. If we were to also get a really hyped SBC, maybe it's not Harry Kane, whatever player SBC we get, there's also some new packs that have been added to the code um, that include, maybe I can find them here really quick. They include like a um, like an 80, I think it's like an 85, like it's guaranteed cards from the Premier League. Let me see if I can find these packs really quick because they're, they're going to be worth finding. Yeah, here it is. Uh, one EFL Tots, a 583 plus Premier League players pack. A 92 plus Icon Moments player pack. I don't know if that's going to be released today or probably later on in the weekend. Contains five gold rare players from the Premier League. If we get some sort of SBC like this, right? Contain, contains 10 gold rare players from the Premier League. Some of those, like an, a pack SBC for a 583 plus Premier League players pack, that would probably, you know, t cost you like an 84 rated squad or something like that. Maybe even a little bit more than that. And that could make your lower tier fodder jump up a little bit. But I really feel like it's that higher tier fodder that has the best chance of going low with the pack supply and then rebounding back up later on the game today. It's again, like I said, it's going to be absolute chaos on the market and on the game today. So what I'm just trying to do is break it all down for you and give you a little bit of insight as to whatever your goals are today. If you see that you open your packs and that fodder is low and you're like, man, I want to go out and do this Icon Moments pack. You know, you might be able to go buy those cards for cheaper in the first 30 minutes, go and do the pack before that stuff. People do the same thing that you want to do and those cards start rising back up a little bit. Or if you want to try out a brand new TOTS card, buying those early on, if it's one of those cheaper items on the market, uh, might be a really good play as well. Now, let me talk to the guys, myself included, that just want to make some coins today. If you want to make coins today and you want to trade, we're going to look at a lot of out-of-pack special cards, right? I think about all of the promo cards last week. You guys will probably remember all the cards last week that went down like crazy as everybody opened their packs. Like I mentioned, it's going to be chaos in the first hour or so. Last week, this exact same thing happened. The rebound on the market, it took some time, but what you had was people like this Martinelli. He was 580 last week, the same exact situation that he is right now. 580,000 coins last week before Community Tots. He dropped to 470K. 
like an hour after the promo dropped because nobody is going out and playing weekend league, right? Because that's another interesting aspect about the game today is yes, prices will rebound as a lot of coins are coming onto the market, but I think there's going to be an opportunity for some cards that are out of packs, whether it's foot captains, any of these big promo teams this uh, or cards this year, like foot captains, foot birthdays, future stars, the fantasy foot cards that are also very popular, maybe some team of the years, you know, maybe some headliner cards if you're wanting those for your team. There's probably going to be a bit more panic today in that first hour, just like there was last week, because again, people can't just open their packs and go play weekend league. There's kind of a delay in time, right? The weekend league schedule is the exact same as it was last week. It's starting three hours after the content drop. I do believe um, it's the same exact schedule. It's starting again, like I said, three hours right after the content drop, and it's going to go all the way until Wednesday. That is our new schedule for foot champions you can count it down 17 hours from now is legit three hours after the content drop so just keep that in mind that the market's not going to rebound right away but in that first hour there's going to be an incredible amount of opportunity to go out and buy cards that have been panic sold i would really try to focus on the premier league out of pack specials right you know one card that really was sticking out to me um just as an item that i would keep an eye on today cut some of these foot birthdays right mr sancho Jaden sancho his foot birthday card, one of the best right mids in the game. I know we had the Mars card that dropped off a lot, but I think Salah today is going to be very, very, very expensive. If this card gets down to like, you know, 600,000 coins because he gets panic sold or whatever, he could very easily bounce back up over 700K as a very rare item uh, on this game. Let's talk about another one, Odegaard. Maybe on a, for somebody with less coins, you're trying to trade today. This is a very popular player. Odegaard with five-star, five-star. Of course, there's going to be team of the season cards that are better, but this is just a very popular Premier League um, card that is on this market in this game. I would keep an eye on his item today. He might drop in some panic and then have potential rebound. Just go through this game and on Footbin, if you want to look for some cards, scroll through all of these team of the weeks and just look at cards that are from the Premier League, like Yunberg, right? That could be a card that would do really, really well. Tyrone Mings, I know we've had some center back panic selling uh, with Rudiger, Mings. A lot of those cards are down. Today might be a day later on where you might see some of those items bounce back up a little bit. But really try to focus on the Premier League items from today because that's where everybody's going to be going out, right? They're going to be trying these cards that people have just packed or buying off the market and they're going to link them to other Premier League special items that's where the hype's going to be on the market. So focus on the Premier League if you're trying to trade and make coins in that part of the meta market today on this game. Now, the last thing I want to say about the weekend league, as I was just mentioning, is there's actually a really weird scenario. And before you guys start playing weekend league, you, you might want to think this through before you change where you're going and what your thoughts are and your plans are to finish off where you're going to try to finish in weekend league. Because here's the issue, right? The rewards are the exact same, but they include Premier League and Air Divisie team of the season. Now, on Sunday, we're going to have EFL tots. They will not be in rewards until next week. Air Divisie tots are in rewards again this week. We have a second chance at some of those cards. But the issue is all of the Air Divisie tots player picks are maxed 90 rated. And if we take a look at that Premier League tots squad that is leaked, there's not a single player in the squad that is over the rating or under the rating of 90. The lowest rated card, I believe, is a 91 rated Rodri and 91 rated Diogo Jota. So if you finish anywhere below nine wins in Weekend League, if you finish rank seven or lower, you're only going to be packing Eredivisie Tots cards as your rewards in reds, which will increase your opportunity of getting somebody like Timber. Um, but what's unfortunate about that is you're not going to have a shot at Premier League cards. So this weekend's going to be one of the sweatiest weekends yet when Weekend League gets started because everybody's going to be gunning for nine wins plus because that's the only opportunity you have to get Premier League Tots cards in your red. So just be careful with that just so that you're aware. Again, delayed Weekend League start time just like last week and there's going to be no Premier League Tots cards in red picks below nine win threshold in that champions finals reward so just be very very careful about that i know that a lot of you guys are going to be wanting to get those red cards um, and you won't be able to get them because or unless you finish nine wins or above so that's going to be it for the game today man it's, it's going to be an absolute crazy day 
today on FIFA. Just watch out for like any free packs they might give out too. Again, there's always the caveat that EA could do whatever they want. They could drop a preview pack today and make this market go crazy. They could drop any sort of SBC or anything like that. We're just waiting to see what EA comes out with today, but it looks super incredibly promising for the game today. We're going to be live streaming the content drop. Make sure you check that link down below, twitch.tv slash the foot accountant. We're going to be watching the market. It's going to be crazy. Opening a bunch of packs. Last chance if you want to save some player picks. I wouldn't say put too many coins into player picks. Um, although they were really cracked yesterday. You can see the tots counter is up to six. Um, I packed, I think I've packed four tots yesterday. None of them were like super crazy. Uh, but this is kind of a running list of all the tots cards that I've packed. Your Reese was from the guaranteed community SBC, but, um, you know, maybe saving a couple player picks for today would be an opportunity for you guys, um, on this game to maybe pack a team this season card, but good luck if you're opening packs. Good luck if you're trying to get some TOTS cards to pick up today. It's going to be an absolute banging day of content. I'm so excited. If you did enjoy the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.